Hello, this is Michael with the current planning division of the Planning and Urban Design Department of the City of Dallas. I'm making this tutorial on how to access and view the zoning intake log, which is an online tool on our website to view the status of current and approved zoning cases. So here on DallasCityHall.com, as anything, you can find the tool. And so I'm on our website and I'll go to business, then development and then zoning current planning. This is our general current planning website. And now we have a resource page that's accessed here. So this is that zoning resource page and it does have resources including the interactive online zoning map for which there's a tutorial here. Um, other information including the zoning application and the zoning intake log, which we'll review right now. So you can just click this link to go to the zoning intake log, or you can put in the URL as above, developmentdata.dallascityhall.com. And so this is a portal for viewing zoning cases and their status and other information about them. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on zoning intake. So that's developmentdata.dallascityhall.com slash zoning. And so it has a couple of options, including view specific case for when you know the case number involved in a case, either you heard it from someone or you received a notice or you saw a sign in front of a property for the zoning case with a zoning case number. It'll usually be a number with a Z in front of it. So you could put that number in here. Um, otherwise, you can search all cases that exist using some filters. Maybe you don't know the exact case number, but you know the meeting it's scheduled for or the city council district that it's in, you could use this function. And then there's also a map for searching if you know maybe where it's at, but not the exact information about it. So we'll go ahead and look it up using the case number, presuming we know that case number. So I'll type that number in. It's just an example of a case that exists in our system. So this page um, came up when I put in the case number and that actually has a lot of information regarding the case and this is essentially just a digital version of what the applicant um, submitted with their application and so it's all viewable by the public here we saw that their request was here in the request tab from cr to r5 to construct a single family home that gives us a brief summary of the request this hearings tab shows me that it appears to have gone to City Planning Commission on October 13, and that it's scheduled for an upcoming City Council hearing on December 14th. So these are updated regularly by our planners, the case manager. And so if this date is in here, um, it should be accurate. And finally, it has a documents tab, which usually contains a PDF of the application itself. However, that information is gonna be reflected on this page as well. But just so, so you know, you can see the application PDF here as if it were um, in, in the physical case folder. So this gives you a little more information as well as that map. So this is useful if you didn't fully understand information about a case or you just want to research it. Um, you can use all this info to get more, including the name of the applicant and the name of the case planner. And it even has a tool to access uh, the contact information for the planners and send them an email from here. So I'll go ahead and close that tool for that case. And then we can search for a case, maybe using some filters if we don't know the exact case number. But let's say that I've, I've heard that it's gonna go on December 14th to city council. So this is the CC box, and then there's a drop down box. I went and I selected the December 14th meeting, and I, I think that case, because it's in my neighborhood, is in council district six. That's another tool to narrow it down, but there's a number of different tools we could use to narrow it down. And so I searched using those two filters, and I did find that same case um, and that told me the case number, and then I can click on that and go to its page the same way 
I would have otherwise. So that's helpful if you don't know all the information about a case, but you maybe know the ballpark or, or where it is or, or when it is scheduled for. So I'll go back and review one more thing, which is the map function. And so basically this is a map that's generated based off of the intake log that has various cases throughout the city and their status. And give it a moment to load. There we go. So now that it's loaded, we can see um, it's kind of like a Google Maps, um, but we can see various parcels that have participated in rezoning cases, and those are continually updated by our staff. Uh, but it appears that we can put in an address. I know that the case is, is near me or, or on my block or something like that. I can put in the block number potentially or the, my, the address nearby or, or my address and that takes you pretty close. And it appears that there's a map here with a polygon where, oh, it looks like they're rezoning that parcel and that's another way to find that information using this map. So just, they all lead to the same place. They all lead, when I click on this and then click more info, it'll take me back to that information page. So there's a number of different ways to figure out which case if you don't know the case number and eventually get to the right place and get to the bottom of, of what they're requesting and when they're, when they're being heard and then eventually contact the planner if you have questions or comments. So that is all right here in the zoning intake log. And that should be everything for, for this tutorial. So have a good day.